Oh my gosh, I hate math and writing so hard. You're late. Um, you've never been late before. Where were you? <sighs> Sorry, some things came up. Like what? A friend called me. It must have been important. I swear it won't happen again. Nothing could ever stop me from coming to see you. I told him I had to see you because every Saturday, I, I, I never miss a Saturday. No, I'll get back to him in about an hour or so. Well, I'm sure you can wait. You have so much to talk about. It might last all night. I'm going to not be able to say that one. Come in. What did you do to her now? Nothing. Come over, Marty. Why are you always hiding behind those books? You have no reason to. Oh my gosh. Shh. Don't say anything. I'm not saying it. Yesterday I scored five touchdowns, one more than our point football. I'm sure you did. If you come to see me later, maybe we can read together or something. Maybe I will. See you later. Goodbye. We'll see you later. We've been working on that homework forever. Uh, will you ever be done with it? I know, it's taking forever. So tell me about the gossip. I missed it all this week. You know that I don't get any good news around this school. Well, on Saturday, well, on Leonard broke up apparently because he cheated on her. She found out, so she found it. On Sunday, we were all at high school prom, and as I hear, four people were kicked out. What else? Monday was boring, and uh, nothing really important went on except that Lola found some new boyfriend. What else? On Tuesday, the concert went well. Many people showed up. And on Friday, Elizabeth was almost in. Queen of the beauty pageant this morning. Oh my gosh, Sarah, are you okay? What? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. But? It's nothing, just a woman from old football fight. Are you sure? Seriously, it's nothing. I'm okay. See, it's gone. Um, Everyone hurts that fight, the pain of it. I mean, I saw his letter. Every time I read it, it's as if it just happened again. Yeah, the letter he wrote you. You said that I could read? Um, yeah, here you go. Can I read it? Yeah, go ahead. Roxanne, I'm writing to say goodbye. I don't think I'll be seeing you again. Why are you reading aloud? Why not tonight? I am burned up with my love that has not been spoken of. I don't think death will pass over me. Never again will my eyes. You read this letter beautifully. See your beautiful face. Or enjoy the little things you do. The way you move around, so I say. You read it wonderfully. So I say goodbye. You read it as if you wrote it. Oh, my love, my pride. Your voice. My love. It seems to me that I have heard it with your voice before. Even though I'm going to be far away, my heart will always be with you. For I love you more than anyone. You can ever measure my love. How can you even read the words? It's so dark. So it was you this whole time. You were faking it. My gosh, Roxanne. Wow, it was you. No, it wasn't. I can't believe it. I should have seen it sooner. The it, way you talked to me tonight. It wasn't me. All the emails were you. Even when I spoke to you from the window, it was you. No, it, it wasn't me. It was someone else. I loved someone other than you. Serena, you've always loved me. You never even went to Starbucks with another girl. No. How come you never said anything? Wait, then all my late nights crying and eating chocolate, those were all for you? But he still died. Still? Why didn't you say anything before? Why right now? <laughs> what? You're here? No, I wouldn't I be. <laughs> Roxanne, he's dying as he's sitting there. Oh my gosh, that explains tiredness and slow speaking. Hey, wait, I didn't finish the headlines. Six o'clock. P.M. Mr. Debergiak was hit by a car and badly wounded. Oh, Sarah, who did this to you? Why no hospital? Well, it's a quick and way to end my life. Fate had its funny way with me my whole life. I failed even in death and in life. But Cyril, my friend. Ragnar, don't cry now. Instead, tell me about your life. What's going on?
Well, I've been working at the Life House Theater lately, and it's been going okay. I clean chairs. Well. Well, sadly, I'm getting quite to bother because they mock you. They mock your plays and your famous scenes. They can mock every word of your scenes. The best one, too. But what the devil is he doing here? Well, glad they did. Only, how did they do it? They laughed their heads off. They, I thought they would never stop. It hurt me so much. Well, that's how my life is gone. I give them all they want, and then they forget me. Remember, Roxanne, I'm Christian. Was that any, under your window? Well, that's my life. Waiting, waiting there while others, when they get the glory and get that amazing kiss. Now that I'm about to die, Christian had the beauty in life, had the witty place. Let them go. When class is done, I don't think I'll be here. But you can't die. I love you. Not so. You fairy tale line. The beast became a prince. His ugliness was gone. Well, you have said I love you, and yet I'm so ugly. I'm sorry that I've caused you pain. <laughs> you? Caused me pain? Yeah, right. You gave me the love that my mother never gave me. You are my friend, the woman of my life. Look, your friend has come. Yes, I see her. Now I see I only love one man, and I have to lose him twice. What do you mean? I will stay at the moon. She'll be my heaven. I'll finally meet Socrates in Galilee. Don't be dumb, Cyrano. It's stupid for such an actor and athlete. Such a big heart. You can't die by a stupid car accident. That's the breakfast. You're still whining and complaining. My friends. These are the fighting eagles. They're the most elementary of football. The writer and critic, even though a bit delirious. Ann Cooler once wrote. What? What is he doing here there in the gallery? Now my obituary. Writer, actor, thinker, eh. Famous for his articles, a quick speed football player, and a lover too. Sadly, his heart was broken when he pretended to not to love. Santa de Berger tonight, he was great. He was really not. Now the moon is calling my name. For a moment. Don't cry more. For the brave Christian. I just ask that, that, that when I die, you'll be there and cry for me. As you mourn, as you mourn him. You know I will. I'll not die. Sitting on a bed. The hall will hold me deep. Death is upon me. Coming fast. I will meet him like a running back. Going through the whole meeting the linebacker. Ready to fight. Cyrano, you're insane. Oh my Cyrano. I see you dead. Don't mock me. It's useless, you say. A man plays better when he when he knows he hasn't a chance. <coughs> and yet, an invisible football never, never win. You you, you got me. You won't get me dead. Never. Never again. It is? My acting, my pride, my life will not be.